This is my throne here, not the one that I sit on to do the toilet. <laughs> but when I used to be king, I used to be king of these woods, but I passed it on. I passed it on to someone else. Can't even remember the name who I passed it on to. Can you remember Fender? There she is, look. Living life. I'm in the woods again today, guys. Love a good woodland camp. It's still, we're just on the cusp, on the cusp, <laughs> feels wrong that, on the cusp of spring. Uh, sun's shining, but we're still, everything's pretty dead in here. Not much greenery yet, but it'll come, it'll come. Uh, I've got a tent with me today that I haven't been out in for probably over a year, so I'm excited to uh, excited to get in that and see what I feel about it now that I haven't been in it for a, for a while and I've been in loads of other different tents and hammocks and whatnot. I've got like a semi-permanent camp down here because I've got permission to be in here. So we're headed down there to have a look, see if anyone's been there and see if anyone's uh, trashed it or whatever, as they do. <laughs> He's got a big job ahead of him, hasn't he? <laughs> Lloyd out leaves. These woods are massive and all. I'm here for months. <laughs> You're a silly goose, aren't you? Come on, mate. This way. Walking the ridge of death now. Check it out. Just a lot of tree roots holding all. Well, I call it a path, but it's more of a game trail. Just a lot of tree roots holding it all together. Whew. It's like a load of wild garlic over there. Might be able to get that on me. Uh, I think I've got pork steaks tonight. I might have lamb, I can't remember. I might have both. <laughs> I'm a greedy boy, you see. It's a school night again, so I think I might need a bath in the morning. This might be perfect for it down here. It's pretty deep here. It's about, well, I say pretty deep. It's about two foot. <laughs> it's enough for a lie down anyway. And a quick wash. Nice and clear. Right, I'm gonna get to camp. Does anyone know why they wrap these around like this? I'd love to know. See them all over the shop when I'm walking about. I have no idea what they are and why they why they do that. Strange. Is it witchcraft or what? Don't look like anyone's been here like. Me uh me grill. 
still on up on this tree. Pan and a few seats. Fire pits on use, so a good do. Even got some wood here, look. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get this pack off me and uh, get some water down me and then maybe do some firewood prep. What are you doing? Are you having a drink? Don't always believe these American YouTubers. The uh, In the UK, the Sawyer filters, they don't fit on the uh, smart water bottles. <clears throat> You've got to get these, you know, pop bottles. It's the uh, carbonated ones, you know, fizzy pop bottles. Those are the ones that fit. to eat dehydrated meals. That's why Bindi come up and have a look. <laughs> What's all that rustling going on? <laughs> hey, look in your lips. It's uh, chicken tikka with rice. A thousand calories. So, should fill me up. That's it, look. There we go. Cool enough to touch. Get me a little druggy bag out. Beautiful. Cheers. That looks pretty decent that. Let's have a look. Seal that back up and then leave it for however long it is. Five minutes. Just looks like baby food. <laughs> Let's have a look. There's a few chunks of chicken and stuff in it. A bit of rice and that. Definitely tastes a chicken tikka. Yeah, it's not bad that. Not bad at all. A bit of a kick to it as well. Mmm. Right, I'm going to stuff this down my throat. I may brew and chill out. There it is, look, in its natural habitat, the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. That's what I'm in today. I'm not going to guy it out because it's not supposed to, uh, not supposed to get any wind, but well, I hope we don't anyway. <laughs> but it's quite stealthy, isn't it? I think, anyway. Colour. We get rid of them bright yellow guy lines and change them out for somewhere else, and <laughs> it might be. Uh, might be alright as a stealth tent this. Told you it blends in. Back or forth, 21 inch. Decent saw this.
That'll give us a nice bed that. Get some more chopped up. Ushkavana folding saw. It's a bit like the Laplander but it's uh it's a lot more aggressive. You want to get rid of all these dead leaves. Unless you're on a desert island, of course. Then you want people to know where you are. <laughs> but I come camping to get away from people. So I don't want to be sending out smoke signals. I'll do. Snap that up. This is good stuff here for lighting your fires. And all this. Silver birch, all that. Oh, look at her, all snuggled up. <laughs> Don't put you sleeping on that sleeping bag, mate. That's mine. <laughs> now we're just going to chill out for a bit, maybe listen to some music. Oh, that's it. Brought a radio, didn't I? First time I've ever brought a radio with me. Let's get that out and have a look at that. Yes! Let's turn that off, I'll get done for copyright. <laughs> Got this torch to show you. It's just a little key ring. Hold on, let me turn this off. Shut up. <clears throat> Got this new torch, look. I was looking at um, the night car. TK, but decided to go with this instead. This were only a tenner. It's got your normal function there, and then brighter settings, lower settings, and it's got like a I don't know what would you call that floodlight on it, got a flashing light on it, and that one's. Ultraviolet. Don't know what I'd use that for. Like, I suppose I could check my pound notes when I printed them off to make sure that they were, uh, make sure that they look alright. Red light. Red flashing. And police one. That's alright, isn't it? No scary mates in that while there. It would tell police are here. <laughs> I'll show you how uh, show you how bright it is. Let me turn that off. Can't see up now. It's not bad, is it? For a little torch, for a little keyring torch. Low, medium, high, and then you hold your finger on it for uh, turbo. Bad that is it for a tenner. I'll just keep it hooked on me uh, on my knife. Oh, let me get my knife out. Oh, this is a problem with being fat. Can't get to it in your pockets. Putting your socks on's a struggle and all. <laughs> That's my little uh, UK legal knife, three inch non locking blade. Got a little carabiner on it there. So. These are always in my pocket then. I've got another one that's from Aldi, I think, for $6.99. It's about that big. Hold on, let's see if I can see if I've got it. I've got it to hand. I bet it's in my pocket, isn't it? It's here in this pocket. <clears throat> that's it. Did a bit of a review with this on me uh, on my channel. I'll show you this one. Let me turn that light off. Pitch black. It's 
got a better beam than other one and a better spread. I think that uh, that little keyring one's pretty decent for a tenner. Can you see me all right? You don't really want to see my ugly mug though, do you? Getting a bit hungry now, so I think I'm going to get fire lit up and get them uh, pork steaks on. I think I've got some... I think I've got some lamb kebabs and all. Get them on and all. What do you say, mate? Not bothered. She will be bothered though when she smells it. <laughs> Don't you just love a good fire? <coughs> Ooh, look at that, eh? Pork steaks, lamb kebabs. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think, mate? Bet you can't wait for them, can you, kid? <laughs> Dying to get tucked into them, old Tucker Harris. Spot on. Suppose you'll want some of all, won't you? Yeah, then. <laughs> mm. There we are. Lamb and mink kebabs. You gonna tell me a ghost story or what? Don't know how I've ended up with shit end at stick. Look, I'm on dog's bed with dog's blanket. <laughs> She's in my bed, look. What's all that about, mate? <laughs> You've been kicked out of my own bed. <laughs> Just thought we'd come out for a little bit of a wander in the dark. I can't see all. Hold on. Pitch black. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gonna see if there's. Uh, I had some kids earlier just running about, messing about. So if I find them, I'm gonna put me uh, my little my little blue lights on. I'll do this. Walk through woods going. <laughs> Come on, mate. Right then, I think that's about enough excitement for one night. What do you think? Is it bedtime? Uh, unless all happens during night, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> morning. It was a fairly chilly one last night, wasn't it, mate? Huh? Where chilly were they? Oh, 
There we go. Oh, it's about eight o'clock, so I need to get a wiggle on, really. I remember now why uh, I stopped using this tent. I'll show you now. These zips. When you're on inside, always get stuck. So then you've got to do the reach around. Love a bit of a reach around, don't we? Uh, then pull all that out there. And then we can open it up. Ooh, good morning. Which I suppose, <clears throat> it's all right if you want to kidnap someone. Just go put them in a cloud peak too, up on top of a mountain somewhere they won't be able to get out. But no good in middle at night when you need a pee pee. Ah, so that's why I stopped using it. I'm going to have to try and think of a solution to that. Because I do like this tent. There's that and then water drips in off here onto there onto your mesh and inside your tent if it's uh, if it's raining <sighs> but otherwise I like it apart from them two major flaws <laughs> Alright best get up Because of all mist last night and it being cold, I think it got down to about one degrees last night. The tent inside has condensated pretty bad. But I always carry one of these in the bottom of me uh, bottom of my tent bag. So when in the morning you can just wipe all condensation off before you pack it away. Because it's a sponge cloth thing, you can just do that. So I'm going to spend a few minutes, well, try to dry it off a bit while the kettle boils. Oh look, too late, it's already boiled. That's a sort of windmaster for you. <laughs> Proper quick. Right. Going to get all this lot sorted out. <laughs> Get tidied up and then get me sent off to work. Look at her. Don't even want to get out of bed. It's too cold freezing out there. <laughs> What's up, mate? You cold? Why don't you go for a jog? You'll soon warm up. Come on. There's a good girl. This is that torch I was showing you last night. It's apparently waterproof and uh, rechargeable. USB-C, you just flip that open and then there's your port there. That's all your different lights on it, look. Not a bad bit of torch, I was testing it out last night, Woods. And it's uh, pretty decent for, for what it is, for the size of it anyway. I'll leave the uh, link for this in the description. Because I know there's a load of torch nerds out there that want to know. <laughs> Always make sure your uh, your fire's out completely before you leave camp. Get some more water and uh, douse it. Fire's completely out now. That's where the tent was. Right now, here comes the shameless plug. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs down. But also comment, tell me why you didn't like it. And uh, subscribe to see me on my next adventure. <laughs> Thanks for watching.